Okay, so this is probably one of the coolest decks that I've made in a very long time. I actually spent like three or four hours yesterday working on this. I tried many different versions. I tried this with Bountiful Harvests and Barnabas and all types of crazy stuff. But I ended up going more towards the control route. I put in a Heat Wave. I put in uh, Ike instead, you know, of the Barnabas and all that extra point stuff. And I feel like this is more consistent overall. Went on a bit of a streak and I can proudly say that it's working. So this is the one I'm going to share with you guys here. I also had a different version with Renfree because it's sort of heading in that direction, right? If you dump Simlas, you could put Renfree. If you dump the Heat Wave, you could start putting in Gang. You can kind of see the vision, right? I put the Poison package. I don't know if I'm going to share that one with you guys. I might just leave it deleted because, you know, you can make Renfree into anything, right? This is unique. This is special. This is Scoia'tael, and I'm really happy to play it. Now, I don't even want to hear about Saskia Commander being binary, yada yada, right? Like, this card got nerfed one provision and one base power, and it's part of the deck, and she works really well in movement, so you have to put it, right? Because dragons are so expensive, we have a lot of dragons in here. I don't have direct tutors like Oniromancy or uh, Royal Decree or anything like that. What we're relying on is basically Curse Scroll to get whatever we need. We have uh, Merc as well to actually go and pull into Saskia if we miss her. So then she can start thinning things out. And then I have Simlas to take out a couple specials at the right time. I put my Hackam Ales as a backup because in this version I couldn't fit Bountiful Harvest. But backup plan is really the target card for this. And it's a really good point swing. And, you know, with that, it's some control that helps chip in with cat witchers and berserkers and leader pings and y you name it right and you know the control we have off these guys so we're able to remove things that way and it feels pretty good overall so really good plays into lineage we got uh four dragons in the deck i didn't want to put synthesis in the deck because i felt like it was just sitting there in at nine provisions for eight points and there are so many different things that we could do that are better i guess you could swap this but i think i'd rather have the removal and i'm sure that you'll agree this just makes more sense in the deck so there's kind of that i want to go over the strategy a little bit so what we're looking to do in round one is get out saskia try to thin out some of the movement package okay so i have in theory in that if we're worried about a backup plan or we're worried about just row punish we could go and play this down first get that started we could play saskia then infuse something it's going to help keep our engines alive if we have problems with keeping the engines alive we also have vial of forbidden knowledge and mahakam ale ideally in round one what we're looking to do is get in a position where we can pass with enough lead that will carry us so that the opponent has to go multiple cards down we really like that because you know we like a long round with this deck but we can also bleed with it too so it's pretty flexible but uh we want to get out the Saskia to get out the Matron, preferably with the Catwitcher and the Sentry. Maybe play these from hand in between, so we're not thinning these out, you know, from Saskia involuntarily. But uh, if we do, it's not the end of the world. Realistically, the goal is to get cards out of the deck onto the board. So, you know, we're doing that by doing this, right? And yeah, just lots of synergies and fun stuff you could do in the Bronze End. And then, of course, uh, Simlas going into creating backup plans you know we're looking at mainly creating the half elf hunters because the harmony tags nice we have a lot of different tags in the deck as well as just the point slam but we also have really good reach with even something like the archer the archer plus the cat which are pings and all the stuff we have is a very good removal tool not to mention the two damage that you get on the unit for even playing these so we get four damage on one unit when we play these and then whatever else we got to do to clean up the board so it's pretty cool and uh Aukvist is just the crazy row punish uh who really hates this would be any sort of swarm right if we're playing against Araka swarm they're going to try to remove this by any means necessary but you know if we could take out a lot of tokens then we're doing a good thing here so Aukvist just plays for a lot of points sometimes in a short round three even better than Saskia so think about it right Heat wave, of course, get rid of a scenario. This is the only chance I have against Harmony. If I'm playing against Harmony, they smoke me every single time unless I have Heat Wave. So it has to be something that we include. Stick a castle, getting another Cat Witcher, just height and synergy with the Dope Within Centuries. And what I'm finding with this deck, it's completely okay. It's just unconventional. What I'm finding is if we go into like 
a situation where we have to bleed in round two to end up in a four or five card round three. We're often going to maybe have like a sentry in hand, but we also want to play Mirg. We also want to play Saskia and take the orders like or the timer on the Ockfist. There's a lot of timers and orders in this deck. So, you know, it's OK to play something like the sentry last especially if we have Cat Witchers already out. I think we want to prioritize the orders. We want to get down the Cat Witchers for the adrenaline. We could slam this at the end and then just do like a bunch of clicks on the Stiga and Leader. Usually with this deck, I'm finding that I'm not using Leader early to try and get ahead. Maybe if we're on Red Coin, I might use one Leader Charge in round one, but it's very rare that you're blowing through the whole thing. In the Renfree version I was using, it played a little bit more into the movement for the Poison. So I was using these in the deck as well, but the movement from Saskia wasn't as good because you're thinning out these and, you know, it's like you don't want them. It's like stuff like that. You know, I had the Weeping Willow in there. I just like this one better. It just feels like a better deck. But uh, the other one was just cheap, you know, <laughs> just cheap strong. But uh, guys, I'm really excited about it. Like, I can't say enough times. This is uh, a really fun one. You guys got to try it. And uh, honestly, man, it really takes in the new cards and the changes to the existing cards and makes them something worth trying and playing. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to show you guys. Uh, I got four games, I believe, with live commentary for reference. Uh, there's like a fifth game I might include. It sort of cut off halfway, but the opponent had a cool deck. He, uh, I guess he disconnected, but maybe we'll include it. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll decide. But either way, guys, here's the post and I'll see you very shortly with another video. Thank you. All right, so first up here we have Gorilla Tactics, and it looks like some kind of mirror match. Probably just regular Harmony. We'll see. Put back one of these. We have a pair. Same goes for one of those. And uh, this would be my Sim last target. Just get that thinned out as quick as possible. We'll put down the chariot and kind of work with that. Of course. Oh, how lovely it burns. So they go take their Saskia. I don't have a counter to that. I think the best thing for me to do is just try to get out of the round without losing, right? Blood, blood. We can... If I take Simlas out, that's kind of one of my bigger plays, you know? But we're going to take him anyways just to hold him. Probably just put down uh, Vile. Don't want to go too tall. Okay. We could remove that for sure when it gets to 9, which is going to give me reach, but until then, uh, we got to figure something out here. Oh, so close. I mean, if we just had, like, a ping somehow, you know? There we go. Let's, uh, let's try and snipe. Come on, come on. Nope. Oh, 
Okay, so I think the move is just deleting this. It's crazy how it barely gets us ahead. Come on, please, please, please. There you go. We'll hit this. I think we have to play in a bit more. This should get me my pass. Yeah. All in all, they put on a lot of pressure with, obviously, their own Saskia. And then the Shiru is really painful. But we, uh, we got out of it. And uh, the hand's pretty good, too. There you go. Jeez, eh? It's a lot of, like, we go second type stuff here. This is proactive, but I don't know if we ever want to push. I'm gonna have to just say, let's take a long round. Hopefully, they don't have Simlas as well. That's uh, pretty much everything you want, except for that, and please, there you go. Whoops. I guess I just heat wave that at the start. Honestly, I'd rather just brick this than have pretty much any of this. Okay. Um, we definitely take that out. It's crazy because we actually get hidden Farseer synergy with that play because we have the lineage. It's actually very nice. Let's uh let's get this going now. Yeah, I work. Better than work. Try to get both of those online and then we'll get down the uh sentinel. Or the sentry rather. Yeah. You are no lunatic. That's their backup plan. If they go wide, we just punish wide, so... That's a lot of points. So now I have to play this, don't I? Mm, nah. Uh, this is important.
Honestly, I gotta get these orders to work, right? We kill that. Yeah, we'll just kill this off. And then we'll just play this. Go for like a waylay. And then it's like a last say, unfortunately, on the... Purify. They're starting to slow down a little bit, which is nice. That's the wrong one. I don't know. I guess... Yeah, they just don't want to leave that there. Sure. Let's kill this so we don't get the last proc. Let's take this. Let's, uh, let's move that, obviously. Oh, I forgot about him. Jeez. <laughs> I mean, still. Still, we want to hit the back row. I think we actually win. It's absurd. Yeah. Wasn't even that close. Alright, we have Blaze of Glory and let's see if we could take him down. Gimme Saskia and I'm I think we're chilling. This might be discard, but it might just be putting it so that they can start, you know, the carryover process. So we'll have to see. First, a decent hand. It's just, uh, honestly, I'm going to put back Vile. No. This dies pretty quick. Let's get down some armor. We want them to try and hit that, of course, you know? They'll probably try and float it, though. Okay. Sure. Come on. Show us what you got. Now, Gutting Slash doesn't hit it, right? We actually get it to work. Oh, <laughs> buddy's like, no. Nah. I guess they just wanted that. How many, like, how much more discard do you think they have? I thought they were going to crank leader. I guess they're just worried about me getting ahead. You know? I... I like winning. We gotta... <laughs> I like winning. Take your leader. Let's trade. Do it. I know you want to do it. It's right there, man. Or there's that. That's a cool way to play Iced. Ah, 
you know, I'm just going to finesse this and see if we could just get it to stick there. Good hits. I have to say, the Iced was a nice utility for round one. It sped up what otherwise would have been pretty slow for Warriors, but it wasn't, uh, wasn't like crazy, you know? Like, with all that said, I'm still kind of in a good spot. Let's get this online ASAP, right? Start padding things. Nice little sweep. The fact that they missed the second Warlord is massive for them. Yeah. Because they, they weren't able to remove a lot of things, and then with the Raider as well... Using that on the armor costed them the Ethereum, which put out a lot of points. So, I gotta get that leader out of the way for sure. Is there anything that we... You know what sucks is that drag wasn't even... Because it came back off the ice discard, so they actually didn't even have setup for it. It didn't do anything. I think there's always something to squirrel here, right? This is decent. We don't want to be thinning this out, so I don't mind playing it from hand. I feel like I'm supposed to go through some mulligans, though. Yeah, it's a bit better. So we'll, we'll basically hold on to this dragon, tutor it out with this in round three, and just try and bleed with Saskia so we can get some value. Here. There's the second one. We'll take this on melee, I think, just so that we don't have to thin out a dwarf. But at the same time, though... Which one am I most concerned about? This is annoying. It's like literally the utility to help take something down. I think that's the move. OP squirrel. What's nice is that we have the tier answer, and then we have whatever comes off leader answer. It could be a great sword, it could be the Yuda. It's, uh, it really depends. Guess that's good. Do we have another one? Okay. If I take... Yeah, we could take this now. Doesn't feel so bad. Nice, okay. Why don't I try and get down the Stiga and then try to thin out another movement card. Watch it be a Berserker. If I put down Stiga, it's 50-50. Well, actually, there's two of these and one of these, so the odds are not really in our favor. Do we care? It doesn't get them ahead. We have card advantage if we want it. Nah. Nah. Yeah, I work for the team. Better than working for humans. They probably have gutting for that. They're making it hard for me to play here, though. Okay. Here's where I'm going to have to take the card advantage because we have the brick. Or they just take... No way! <laughs> Am I satisfied? Oh, yeah, they, they don't have... like. I was talking about leader earlier with Tall Punish. It wouldn't work because they already played Iced. I'm so used to seeing Iced in round three that it's uh, it slipped my mind. You know, two turns we get something else. 
If I play this here, we brick this. Ah. But they have Fakusha and Harold and this and that, you know? Tear. It's, uh, it's not looking good. What if I just float this? Float this and get, yeah. Because I have a heat wave too, you know? It sucks to float an AP card and know that it's going to get removed. Oh, what? I'm just going to play the heat wave. Let's go. Dude, they haven't... I don't think they have it on me. Like, I, I need to get commitments. Look, look, I'm going to break this on purpose, okay? Don't try this at home. Here. Tempering or waylay. A tempering. There you go. Dude, I'm convinced that the last card is tier. I'm so convinced. I don't even care about the order. It sucks that I still don't get that thin, though. Imagine. Yes! <laughs> Okay, we have Enslaved 6 coming up here, and we go second. Nice. Is it 6 or 5? Five? 5. So maybe the shoot version, okay? Good opening hand. It's just that... There's a lot of stuff in the deck. Including Tall Punish. If they play Torres, then... Oh. Okay. Let's try to get the Harmony online. Nope. Let's try and get the chariot online. There's hope. There's hope. Okay, let's try and get this one going. We'll get the movement package started. What's annoying is the non-neutral clause. Like, in theory, and just plays for so many points now with Nilfgaard. Of course, you draw that. Makes sense, right? Here. 
we have to we just have to do what we gotta do you know just gotta keep patting this guy up I think he's the most important I got Mahakam Ale for that though you know here's what we'll do Next turn. Yeah, we finessed it. We actually finessed it. Now, it didn't even cost us a gold card. Okay, I'm I'm happy with that. As for them, same. Well, actually, they have the Doregare. Why would you play Doregare if you could just play a, like a cavalry or something? So I think all my dragons are in hand, right? Yeah. Let's put back. That's tough. Put back uh, this one. There. Ooh. Do we want to take him into a long round, or do we want to just... You know what? We bleed with Saskia. <laughs> Watch them play another one. Hit this. Oh, they can't if it's shoot. So, something to think about, right? We have elves on the board already. I could play this. I could play this, or I could play this. This is maybe just. I think it's better for now. Put back uh, Berserker. If they seize that. Really? Yes, we just have to play this then. There's my phone going off. Um, it's going to have to be this. This is worth six. You hate to see it. It's not really what I wanted to do. Blood, blood. I'll get down the Witcher on Adrenaline, and I think we should be decent. Hit it, uh, yeah, yeah. Let's hit uh, something that's not an engine, you know. Use the order. I got to get ready to pass because I know they're gonna boost up false series soon. I think this might be the pass here. Yeah, to think I didn't need tall punish, huh? It's crazy. You know what? I'm just about it. I'm about that life. Let's just go for it a little bit. I don't even care about Yurka here. You know what? In a matter of fact... No, no. We gotta chill. <laughs> it's a 2 <laughs> Alright, we have Inspired Zeal coming up here next. And... I feel like it's going to be Reavers, but like a safe Reavers, you know? Just making sure things actually pop off. This for an Echo. 
We've got pretty much one of each, which is crazy. If it's Reavers, I don't think I'm going to need the Berserker, because we're going to try and pad things up a little bit, you know? That's good. We get the Saskia pull. I wonder if I should just do the Saskia thing and just kind of double up on some. If they're actually playing Reavers, this could be a good way to help combat that. But here, I think I'm going to just chill and uh, just try and get down. Let's just sequence it out, keep it slow. We don't know what we're playing against yet. Oh, okay. that on ranged dandelion dandelion at seven should I just heat wave the generator I have time let's pull into simlas we'll put back one of the uh If the deck is surrounding Generator and Carryover, I feel like that was the move. Yeah, because all these cards are just like, eh. Three. Three, four, five, okay. Something tells me this can get killed, but we'll try. We gotta uninspire this guy. There you go. I don't know, do they have two damage on demand? What can really do that, though, for Northern Realms? Most of it's going to be an order. Unless they have a special card. But why would you play a bunch of specials? Yeah, you see? We'll just, uh... I feel like we're chilling. Because they have an otherwise fairly slow round one. It's unfortunate that we had to go first. If we can get enough momentum off this movement package, it might be worth just... Hard to say. Uh... Look, I could play... We'll try the vial thing. Yeah, we'll try vial. We'll vial this. Does it matter if it's there? Oh no. <laughs> it, it counted for a boost. Okay, um, as long as I get the point, I'm fine. Oh wait, no, it got the boost off. The, I, I think we just, I think we just chalked it. If I'm being honest. Why don't we take the sim last round? No, we'll, we'll wait on sim last, man. I was going to say Simlas could take care of that, but it's also kind of expensive. Got to trust the process here. We have a lot of stuff moving. Yeah, we could squirrel. Oh, okay. If that was the line, then maybe they should have done it. Maybe they'll reset the order on this. Or... I just pass and let him have it. I don't know. I go up two, four. 
right? The vitality, the boost, this boost, that's three, four, five. They go up the one. If I get rid of Amphibious, though, I get more value. Here. I get more value off the movement stuff. It's kind of hard to neglect. You kind of play for the adrenaline on the Cat Witcher, right? But you know it's going to be a lot of points. I think Simlas just basically guarantees round. And then we get rid of the... Yeah, I think I'm alright with this. Move. So we're gonna get rid of that. And then we're just gonna get this going. For the extra movement. Let's pad that up a little bit. And then if they try and play in, they're done. It's over. Please, for the video, just play. Actually, they could have a heat wave or something. The good part is that heat wave itself is not enough. We've made that process, you know? Please, just, just, oh. <laughs> alright. Alright, alright. They got some decent carryover. I don't know how we're gonna... It's probably gonna be all on one card, too. It's like this crazy card. They're just trying to pad up. This is good. We get the Saskia. We put back. And then we still have Tall Punish option. I think I like the long round. It gives me a chance to work with what we've got, you know? A little bit better. Good. Decent. Good. Uh, damage is better. Good. Oh, am I going to have to put back Chariot? Yeah, I guess. Chariot for Saskia. Or, uh, either way, we're getting cards. Man, I'm excited. Ah, we missed Aukvist. I didn't even realize. What's better? What's better, actually? Aukvist or Saskia here? Probably Aukfist. Right? Because what? I'm going to thin out like two of these, maybe. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. If we thin this out second. This is just better. At this point in the game. So before you guys say, oh, it's a Saskia deck. It's unoriginal. Bro, Saskia's at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Trust me. Trust me, we got tall. I gotta get rid of the original copy, though. Like, that's important to me. Because if they keep spamming these damn things, it's gonna get kind of crazy. Yeah, you see? it. Like, that's the whole strat. So, careful. Oh, gosh. All right. Oh, uh, as if it's eight, not nine. Hey, why would they make it? I guess they, they're on to me? Sure. <sighs> Listen, we're going to stick to the script. All right. Stick to the script. Try to get, uh, try to get that out of the way. Try to get this going. Yeah, I work for the Better than working for 
Yeah. I was going to use the leader charge on it. I feel good. <laughs> Let's go. Wow, that's a big boy. Um, We kill that, don't we? We've got to wait for the this. To, okay, we're, we're definitely going to go Cat Witcher first. Damn. We got to go. That's a lot that we need to play quick. Oh. I don't even feel bad about the bricks anymore. I'm good. Literally, I think that was a uh, nail in the coffin. Yeah. Yeah, we really messed him up with the muted generator heat wave. Oh wait, it's not over yet. We gotta. I'm gonna play this now, and I'm gonna have to finish with the the century, unfortunately. But at least we can make it count because we have full leader. We have this, but if I don't use my orders, I'm gonna feel dumb. So. Whatever. It was like a mid-round. It wasn't a long round three. And we could still lose this, but I think we're going to be doing okay. Uh, waylay is probably the move. I think we have this, like, pretty, pretty well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. Yeah, we're we're chilling. Okay. The ultimate test would be Gedneth against us to see if we can actually outpoint this deck. Because we don't have a lot of control options. We have some. Not as many as you know I like, right? We have a heat wave, which is kinda cool, you know. Couple things. a good hand for round one. We'll put one of these back. Put one of these back. Okay, we're chilling. What do you got going on? Ooh. Some hyper thin compass artifact point slam with this. So if we heat wave this Oh, but this combo is deadly. Okay, I've done that before. I think I did that back in 9.5. was my first time doing that one. 9.5 or 9.4. Problem is I go first. I don't want to... Our whole point is to, like, tempo them, you know? I'm going to have to have another look at that vial. A tutor, for a tutor, for a tutor. I just wonder if maybe they have too many provisions put into thinning that it's not going to look as good as it does on paper. So this, this, this were spent, and then it's just a defender we can push, which is no problem. This into this and this are the big threats, because... If we don't get rid of the callus, then they don't have a way to restore it. Like, there's no way to revive it. Maybe Fakusha, but there's not even Sig. That's not too bad, if you think about it. I'm going to play this now so we can get the most value out of it. And uh, I'm going to draw. We'll take, uh, we'll take our punish, because that could actually deal with Sigwald. Just put back the ale, I think. What will... You know what I could have done? Well, I can just mulligan it back. But I'll put back one of the dragons, of course. 
take. We need a matron and we need a dole. We have three options we could pull. I think I'm just going to go for for this strat here so we can start getting out more tags quick. Just hopefully it's not a... There we go. Good, good. I was really hoping it wasn't Berserker. If they put this down, then I think Iterin's coming down next. Which is a huge output, so we can't pass. Waylay... Helps. I think if they're going to play Iterin, it's going to be on the melee row. Honestly, we're just going to go with this here. We have to. Yeah, I work for the queen. So there's that played. They also have this swing. You think they'd want to get this out. But they'd have to use leader for that. Missed an armor. Really? I mean, it's... It's tempo. This feels really bad in this matchup. Aukvist, it's like they had it in mind. Um, honestly, man... I could just kill the damn thing. Nah, my Tall Punish is so valuable. And everything is pretty valuable. Wait, why'd you pass? I really want to play this one out. Come on. Hopefully they're just playing on their phone. They gotta check a message real quick, you know? Dude, I'm so invested. Look, if this game gets cut off, I feel like I should probably still show you guys. We're not gonna count it as a dub, but it was a cool idea. Wait, why would you even pass like that? Okay, good, good, good. We take the elf so we can get out of dwarf. And, uh... Sure. Like, a lot of these hits aren't even hitting, which is the funny part. We gotta start counting provisions, though. They put, I think it's 9 into a 10 into a 12. Right, it's a 10? Yeah. Whereas we put 11, 8, and 14. So I would say at this point, plus a bunch of 5s. They have 5s too. But uh, it looks like we spent more provisions. But they have more provisions than tutors. So it's, uh, I don't know. What I can say is that most of my hand, I don't want to play. I think they're trying to decide here if they're going to go for it. No way. That's too bad. <laughs> 